Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, this is a kind of different video than normal. I sent out this tweet asking you guys for random book prompts, and I'm gonna take those and turn them into book covers. Specifically, I'm gonna try to turn them into book covers using images of the pets, so Echo, Khajiit, Sake. Now, first off, shout out to Cam over at Wolfshot Publishing. I will link his channel in the description down below because I did get this idea from his channel. He does this fairly frequently, generally with like trashy book covers, which is hilarious. Also, quick little announcement, some of my patrons got together and organized a little event that's going to be going down on the 18th of July, so I wanted to shout that out here because it's also partly what gave me the idea for this video. So it's called Read Pit, it is going to be happening on July 18th. You can post tweets with kind of book premises or book prompts or ideas where you want to get feedback from readers on whether they'd be interested in reading that and then they can like it or retweet it or reply on it to show their interest. Because if I learned anything from this tweet is that there are some pretty outlandish premises that people are actually interested in reading in book form and you wouldn't think that until you actually get those opinions from people. I think the idea was originally provided by Jennifer, but I'm gonna link the social media of all the lovely ladies who helped organize this all in the description down below so you can go check them out. So now on to the video. You guys gave me some pretty wild premises and let's see if I can turn those into book covers. Okay, so we're gonna give this one a try. Traveling thieves, heist, histories, and the future's most famous artworks before they're destroyed or lost. When they fail to deliver to a high-powered client, it's a race against time to beat the client's rival team to the next score, the Big Bang Singularity. Because we're ultimately going for the singularity, I think I'm going to make the background space. Don't want watermarks on our book cover. That's not professional because the rest of this book cover is going to be super professional. Oh, why is my dragging tool doing weird things? See, I learned Photoshop by doing, which means <laughs> there's a lot of things that I don't know how they work or why they work that way. They just work. So don't judge me. So I have this one of Echo, he's looking awfully heisty. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut off his body. You don't know that's where his body is. If I was making real book covers, I'd like to think that I'd do this a little more carefully, but why do I feel like this is gonna be a complete disaster? Oh, look at his fuzzy little face. Okay, that's a nice, nice one of Sake there. Look at these perfect lines, oh no. For those of you who don't know, because he's never on the channel, because I, my brain always jumps to cats when I'm planning videos, so he's never in videos. This is Sake. He is named after Japanese rice wine, because he is a Japanese dog breed, and that was the name Josh chose to go with. Maybe I'll make Khajiit a rival. So I do have a nice, like, dark arrival looking image of Khajiit to work with. This is actually a really old picture of Khajiit. This is back when I lived in Michigan with him. I like his cute little nose. I kind of want to make it like four, but I only have three pets. Guess we need another dog. It's a perfect reason to get another dog, right? This is going terribly. I have so many regrets. See, the real reason I'm having issues is because I broke, you know, the big rules. You never put faces on book covers. Clearly, that's the issue. Okay, I need a clock to pop in the background because time traveling heist things. Oh, it's watermarked. How dare they try to claim their own work? I will not stand for it. So this looks like absolute garbage, but that's what you guys are here for, right? You knew this was going to look bad. You had no faith in me. If you did, it was wrongly placed. What are you doing? What the hell are we going to call this thing? I was not anticipating needing to name books today. It's probably a really good punny name here that you guys have all thought of and I can't think of. You're just screaming at me through the monitor. And I'm just here, existing. Ooh, okay, here's a super punny one. It's gonna hurt you guys. Let's call it pause on time. <laughs> yeah, pause, get it, ha. Pause, like you pause a movie. Um, their paws are on time, cause you get it, right? I don't have to explain it. Who knew that font would be the hardest part? Am I really gonna spend like 10 minutes? 
on the font. Super classy. Look at that. Oof. You know, it's not my best cover design work, but it's my first cover design work, so you know, could could have gone worse. There we go. So yeah. Let's call that one done. Export. Ooh, I liked this one. Okay. So the earth is actually flat and the sphere theory is perpetuated by classroom globe manufacture. Okay, so honestly what I really loved about this one is I've always wanted to play with this idea for a sketch or a joke tweet or something where cats are actually testing gravity and they're really interested in physics or something and that's why they're always pushing things off of tables. So I like the idea that for this one, the cat discovered the earth is flat because of the way things react when they're pushed off tables. So I have a cat picture that I think is gonna work perfectly for this. It's Khajiit, of course. And he's like looking at this <laughs> glass thing full of fairy lights, but I'm gonna replace that with a globe and then it's gonna look, well, you'll see, you'll see, it's gonna work. I could cut out his whiskers too, but we're too lazy for that. I think I technically already cut this out for the first book cover, so I could have probably used that, but you know, we don't think that far ahead in this household. Oh no, half of his whiskers are gonna be left in the image and half are gonna be cut out, and that's okay, cause I'm not getting paid for this, so. Okay, so I found a globe image and it looks like a badly manufactured one kind of, but I'm actually gonna go with that because it kind of matches the prompt better, I think. Okay, so I got this kind of fissure-like graphic, so I'm gonna try to run that along this split and see how that works. I don't have a lot of faith because I think this is actually concrete. I probably could have found a graphic that better matched what I was going for, but that would have taken too much time and we're not putting time into this. So you think I'd be able to come up with like a quick and easy name that doesn't involve time and effort, but no, I'm still over here trying to brainstorm a decent name for this book that's not an actual book. I think the background's a little too busy and distracting, but again, we're not putting time or effort into this, so I'm just gonna go with it. Rather than coming up with a title, I'm just gonna rearrange this map background, cause that sounds like way more fun. I should've had you guys include names in the tweets, and then I could've made you do this work for me. Uh, we're gonna call it Dreams Fall Flat. You know, him discovering the flatness of the world by pushing things off of tables as cats do. Why are all of the fonts horrible? And there we have it. Dreams Fall Flat by no author, because I forgot the books have the authors on them. That doesn't matter. We don't have space for that unimportant information. I'm still moving Kashit's head. It's it's finished. I, I said it was finished. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna stop messing with it now. Hey guys, we are back. And I say back because it is a different day, as you can probably tell from the fact that my hair is now like 60% uh, redder. So now you have very obvious proof that I do dye my hair, you know, in case that wasn't obvious before, you know, by the fact that my eyebrows are brown. But we're back and we're gonna do some more book covers. So the next one was submitted by Eugene and they said, an asteroid does a near pass by Earth and suddenly every person's thoughts appear in visual thought balloons over their heads, which is a cool premise. I added on this section. So suddenly everyone's thoughts appear in visual balloons over their heads, which almost leads to the hidden, highly intelligent cat society being revealed. To stay hidden, they must constantly think the word meow while in the presence of humans. While an outcast takes the initiative to find a cure, his best friend turned nemesis is working towards another solution, one that involves the extinction of humanity. So of course, first things first, we're gonna need a photo of an asteroid. So the concept is that, because stereotypes, Echo's the one who of course wants to destroy humanity. This is like a five second book, don't judge me for the premise. He's gonna use Twitter to spread political tweets that are gonna make people have thoughts above their heads that are gonna start fights and in his mind this is gonna create a whole all out war and that doesn't end up working. The book ends with the cure working and Echo and Sake join forces and uh, I spent way too much time plotting this book in my head. Next time I ask why I don't have enough time, send me this video. So yes, background. Okay, so what about something like this? Because I can play with the asteroid idea because we have like overall view of the earth, but then we also have these like cables, which I'm thinking are internet cables. I think that kind of works with the whole 
using the internet to take down humanity theme. Ignore this other image underneath, that's just still there. There we go. Okay, so now I need another image to kind of blend in here. Don't worry, we're gonna do some fancy stuff to blend it in a bit better. There we go. That's looking good. Now, this has a bit of a hard edge, so I'm gonna actually erase some of that. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now, we still got a bit of an edge going on, but that's okay, we're gonna blend it. Settle down, it's gonna be all right. There we go, that's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna use this fancy photo of Sake. He's looking all professional here. So now I need an image of Echo. Oh look, he's kinda tiny here. Look at that small face. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. Okay, that one doesn't really work for this. Okay, so if I were to flip this horizontal. Oh, they'd be looking away from each other. I like that, because remember, they're nemesis. Nem nemesi? Nemesis. <laughs> they're enemies. They're enemies. Oh no, his, half of his ear is cut off, so he's gonna look really scrappy. He doesn't look quite as professional as Sake, but we're gonna just go with it. Okay, we'll take this a little more seriously by zooming in. That looks super legit, right? That's what a cat ear looks like. Now, obviously, we have a bit of the same issue here with his body. So we're just gonna cut it all off, just like that. Magic. Okay, let's see if this is any better. Don't have a lot of hope. Okay, okay, what if I told you guys I changed my mind and I want them to be back to back again? Not facing each other. Don't judge me. Sometimes you don't know what something's gonna look like until you see it, right? What if I told you I want them to switch sides? <laughs> Who's the professional book cover designer here? Not me, Shirley. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, so cute. Okay, I changed my mind. We're gonna go with the non-professional sake. Let's get that asteroid in there now. But we're gonna toss it behind them for some texture. Oh yeah, that kind of works. Now our big asteroid chunk. Now of course we need our title. I didn't spend two hours trying to come up with it. I didn't actually spend two hours. I spent like 20 minutes. That's not embarrassing, right? The name of the book is gonna be Bursting Bubbles. Wonderful, beautiful, so professional. Now we're gonna put it right on the asteroid. Oh, look at that. I think titles are usually supposed to take up a little bit more space on the cover than this, but you know what? We're just gonna go with it. It looks so bad. As soon as you rotate the text on the cover of a book, it instantly looks less professional for some reason. A little closer together and done. On to the next one. <laughs> I took some artistic liberties with this. The original was a cat with a pickle problem can't convince his friends that eating pickles for every meal is okay until the warthog doctor at the furry clinic tells the cat that his love of pickles will eventually cause his tail to fall off. So I took this and I'm kind of going with a like drug addiction kind of uh, direction on this. So we're not going to be putting the warthog doctor on the cover because his role isn't important enough to the tail. Uh, I know, I'm hilarious. So we're gonna make Khajiit be the pickle addict. And I think I'm gonna use this image again. Cause it's got like that uh, drug desire look in his eyes. Now we need to change this blue color on him to green. There we go. I kind of like how it's super bright on his chin. Like the dribbling of the pickle juices has over the years of his pickle abuse kind of tainted his chin green. I can dig it. I like where this is going. So now we of course need a pickle. I almost made this a pickle Rick joke, but I resisted the urge. You're welcome. I hate this. This happens all the time. So it's technically a PNG. It's got transparent bits, but at the same time, I'm not using that one because we're too lazy. Let's see about this one. Okay, this one's better. So, ooh, there we go. Buried. Buried in his pickle addiction. Now we need a background. I'm thinking something ominous because, you know, the pickles are dangerous and his, he's gonna lose his tail to them. So something dark. Hmm, I kind of like that. The reds kind of bring out the greens, but also complement it a little bit. So <laughs> once again, I'm gonna license an image for this uh, super important project. So let's get rid of that Adobe watermark. Oh yeah. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Okay, so now for the title. 
The title doesn't technically make sense because these are pickles, but I'm gonna call them cucumbers because cucumbers get turned into pickles, you know, in case you didn't know that. We're gonna call it cutting cucumbers, you know, like you cut back on something like cutting nicotine and cutting pickles sounded dumb because, you know, this doesn't sound dumb. There's also a little bit of a kind of drug implication there, you know, like the the cutting of the drugs or something. That's how you do it, right? You you cut the drugs? I don't know. I don't know how drugs work. Whoa, I spelled everything correctly on the first try. I'm gonna call it cutting cucumber instead of cucumbers. Just because that makes the words a little closer to the same size. Last, last one, last but not least, book cover design. Submitted by Des. A dimension hopping space princess invades Earth when two random teens kidnap her demon boyfriend via summoning circle. She finds out that her boyfriend has fallen in love with one of the humans and proceeds to lose her. <laughs> and there's also a genderqueer mirror person. I like the idea of the genderqueer mirror person, but you know, they're a side character. We don't put side characters on the covers, so. Now again, I'm gonna take some artistic liberties here. The dimension hopping space princess is a cat, and so of course her boyfriend is also a cat, her, sorry, her demon boyfriend. Now instead of her boyfriend falling in love with one of the humans, the boyfriend's going to fall in love with the dog of one of the humans. In case you hadn't already guessed, Khajiit's gonna be the princess. Beautiful princess Khajiit. Sorry, space princess. Time, time hopping. Space Princess. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to work the time hopping thing into the cover, but... His ears chopped off again, but that's a problem for us to face in like five minutes. Our demon boyfriend here is torn between the two loves of his life, right? We've got a nice love triangle going on, so we're gonna use this one because it's got that nice line down the middle, and I think I can make that work for us. And now we of course need our dog, so we're gonna need a sake picture. I might actually use this one this time. I mean, our princess is wearing something, so shouldn't we have our our lover dog here in clothes as well? Bam! I like how Khajiit's face like looks really sad in this, which really matches up with the theme of this book. Saka's ears are too long. We're just gonna cut off part of his ear, as one does when their dog's ear is too long. I need to cover up Khajiit's missing ear, so I'm gonna actually try to do that with a crown because he's a princess. Oh, why are the quality of all of these so bad? What about space crown? Keep forgetting she's a space princess. That's not what I was looking for. I don't know what I expected. Ooh, what about pirate crown? Because remember, she's a pirate. Space hopping pirate. I have regrets. Why is this so hard? Okay, what if we just give her a crown of flowers? <laughs> Really? Why are they like this? Do you think people would be able to tell that he should have an ear there and does not? Do I just erase it? So I just googled summoning circle. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Is it because that specific one sucks or is it because the idea sucks? That is the question. I don't want text, I just want something super generic. Now we have the whole space theme, obviously, so maybe something with like stars? so hard to come by a good summoning circle these days. I want something that looks really space themed. The green spots on Saka's shirt need to be yellow. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> you guys ready for the title? <laughs> I don't think you're ready. <laughs> Princess and the Pupper. It's a perfect title. That was our last book cover. Let's look at all of them side by side in their amazing glory. Five beautiful book covers. That was this video, um, that was fun. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to give this a thumbs up and a share. And if you want me to do a part two, comment down below your crazy book premise that you would like me to potentially turn in to one of these wonderful book covers. Remember July 18th is Read Pit, all of the information is in the description down below. So if you have a crazy book premise that you think might just maybe work, then you can use Read Pit to figure that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next video.